Hi guys, it's Tuesday and I have another video for you. This one is really messy and has a ton of really old product. Um, I had found this when I was going through, I was looking for a particular embellishment um, and I was like, where are they? Where are they? And I came across an entire bag full of these older Prima uh, wood elements, wood tags, uh, wood doors, and things like that. So I thought I'd use them up. Here I am just priming my paper with some gesso, and then I go in with some texture paste and some black acrylic paint and a stencil. I think that's uh, from the Crafters Workshop. I did not write down the name, did I? It is called Mini Tile Texture. Okay, yeah, Mini Tile Texture. So you can see it's loved and, and well used. Just cleaning up my mess and then that dries and... Oh, there you go. Let's see, what else? Oh, it's been a while since I did this um, layout, so I apologize for not remembering everything. It's a beautiful day here in Texas, so I've been out by the pool, and Bab cleaned it for me. I'm so excited. <laughs> that is like a dream come true, somebody cleaning my pool besides me. Um, and we had a big crap boil last night, and so we ate some of those leftovers poolside of course i picked him up a uh, pizza and wings <laughs> his favorite meal of all time because i had to run london up to the um, clay house where she's doing mosaics today so anyway i won't bore you with that anymore <laughs> as you can see what i'm doing i am just taking some Hardy Shine and Black Velvet and some Lindsay Stamp Gang and California Poppy Gold. And I am just doing the little smushing technique and getting messy. So very, I've been very messy lately with my inks and I'm loving it. I've actually been just going ahead and making some backgrounds beforehand that I can just, you know, grab and go. I've really been loving some inks, and I'm getting some new inks from Tupelo, so ooh, stay tuned for them. They are supposed to be delicious in color, very vibrant, and from Prima, so I cannot wait to play with those, and I will definitely share the layout with you. Um, this is pictures of my trip to Virginia, and that is my very most favorite bottle of wine and it's called Lake Anna and it's a sweet red and uh, oddly enough it is uh, from Lake Anna winery <laughs> so very convenient these are scraps from my stash that red paper I that red paper's got to be 15 years old or something insane I've had that paper forever and this is the first time I've got to use it. So I'm really digging deep in my stash. I just took some black tissue paper and uh, an envelope that came in one of my kits and some little scraps left over from the Bloom collection. There are the little butterflies and the gold rose uh, transparency I, I can't remember I think that's from the bloom collection as well but yeah and that black tissue paper was really cool and different I like it and I'm just popping this picture up so that it the, uh, these are actually leftover little pop-up uh, foam squares rectangles <laughs> um, that were in that Paige Evans kit so I wanted to use them up and this was the perfect layout for it. Oh, and that chipboard is the back piece of the same kit from Paige Evans and that's the letters that I pulled out and I just decided to use it to pop up that picture. 
Why throw it away when you can use it in a layout? <laughs> Here is more of that bloom collection. I end up adding. I like the little hint of pink that it adds to the layout. And I have used a ton of Maggie Holmes Bloom lately. I'm almost out of the 6x6. And that is a little cut apart of a little cup of tea from that same collection. Uh, I tried to make that one little uh, Project Life card fit, but no, did not work out. Oh, and this is the packaging from the Prima um, the wood doors. It has this really cool packaging that has these triangles on the background. And I was like, hey, I'll use that. <laughs> I think it looks really cool. So, yeah. I think I end up putting, yeah, the red doors will go on top. And I think they're just so stinking cute. I couldn't wait to use them. I used them on another layout for uh, a different winery. I don't know why, but I just think they go perfect with wine pitchers. So this was my first wine or winery tour ever. And that was back in December. And then I just went on one with Bab to Fredericksburg in Texas down south and uh, it was so romantic and so fun and such a great getaway uh, I can't wait to do it again he liked it so much he went home and started looking at property out there <laughs> that's when you know you had a good time um, the little clock wood piece that's peeking out of the back side of that picture in the middle is also from the Prima wood uh, ephemera and then that little bird I can't remember where I got that I don't think it's prima but it might be but yeah these are so stinking old can't even tell you how old these are um, and those little squares the tiles that I'm adding I've put uh, another wood tag down at the bottom right from prima and then these little wood tiles or they're not wood. They're um, actually like a resin. So I wanted to use those up and I think they went really well. This is a very, you know, romantic setup and even though I wasn't there romantically um, at this trip. So I thought the um, tiles went well also. Just used one of my citrus twist stamps that say go away and I didn't mean that as like go away I meant it as get away <laughs> and then I uh, cut a part that says go see do from um, the same citrus twist kit and another one of the stamps below the picture and another cut apart that says unbelievable I'm trying to remember what the stamp says oh more of this there you go so I hope you enjoyed the layout. I appreciate you watching. Of course, there's close-ups and there is information on how to see me on other social media at the end. And I hope you're having a lovely day and I can't wait to talk to you soon. But ta-ta for now. Bye.